Tomorrow, a Trump-appointed judge will hold a hearing to determine whether or not former President Donald Trump's request to have an attorney or special master review documents seized at his Florida residence in Mar-a-Lago will be granted. The Department of Justice filed a response overnight, pushing back against the request and laying out new evidence from their search. CBS's Natalie Brand has the latest from our nation's capital. The Department of Justice released this photo showing classified documents recovered from former President Trump's office in his Florida residence. They were included in a revealing midnight court filing in which the DOJ says it developed evidence that government records were likely concealed and removed from the storage room and that efforts were likely taken to obstruct the government's investigation. It sure seems like outright dishonesty in resisting giving back documents that were just never his in the first place. A Trump attorney signed a statement in June claiming that all classified material at the Mar-a-Lago estate had been returned. But the DOJ says it seized over 100 unique documents with classification markings. That is more than twice the amount produced on June 3, 2022, in response to the grand jury subpoena. The Justice Department's new filing comes ahead of a hearing on Thursday over the former president's motion to have an independent attorney or special master review the material seized from his Florida home. I cannot see her granting the one thing that he wants and the one thing that would really derail the case. My father-in-law has said that he has declassified or he did declassify as president Everything that he took from the Oval Office, that he had a right to have all the documents that he um, that he took. But the Justice Department argues Trump representatives didn't assert that he declassified the documents when they returned some of them in June and say the presidential records do not belong to him. Natalie Brent, CBS News, Washington.